Many homeowners in the Dallas Fort Worth are unaware of a historically unprecedented real estate bubble forming right in their neighborhoods, and they don't know what that means to, for their wealth and how they can utilize that bubble to their advantage. In this video, I am going to go over four ways why there is four reasons why the bubble is forming, how long the conditions for this, this bubble might last, how you could take advantage of this unique situation, and the practical steps that you could take to see if you are ready to take advantage of this situation. My name is Elena Garrett, and I am a realtor with the Dallas Fort Worth area of Texas. And today I'm doing a video on the Dallas Fort Worth market conditions. So, four reasons why a real estate bubble is forming or has been forming for the last year. Number one, the COVID lockdown forced a lot of families to rethink their living arrangements. They're now interested in having their own home offices, their own game rooms, and their own media rooms. Therefore, they're looking to upgrade their living space. Number two, the interest rates to stimulate the economy, the interest rates were artificially lowered in order to allow people to buy larger homes with the same or even smaller monthly payment. Number three, the inventory of existing homes have shrunk. Why? Because a lot of people experienced income interruption and employment interruption during COVID lockdown. That forced them to go into a forbearance on their mortgage, and therefore, they're now uneligible possibly to buy another house, even if the house they're living in right now is no longer affordable. Number four, the inventory of new construction homes have been delayed. Why? The lockdown forced a lot of factories to go into a shutdown mode, creating a strain on the supply of appliances, lumber, fixtures, and other things that the builders rely on to be able to produce new homes quickly. Therefore, many builders are currently experiencing long delays in acquiring those particular um, parts for their homes. So four reasons that create, it created a perfect storm that is now creating a bubble forming in the DFW area. How, uh, how long could these conditions last? Well, let's look at each condition and see how long it could last. The number of people who were thrown into the market hoping to upgrade their living space in case of another shutdown is immense. It's immense. It's not likely to dissipate anytime soon, but it is starting to be slowly absorbed by the market. Two, interest rates. Interest rates stayed low until March 2021. In March 2021, they started to go up and they're probably going to continue to go up. What does that mean? It means that those people who have not bought in 2020 are now going to have smaller amount of money to throw into the purchase of a new home. Therefore, the houses are becoming less affordable to them and that is and that probably going to continue. Therefore, the conditions for a large amount of money being available to the homeowners is quickly, quickly diminishing. Number three, the short supply of existing homes. That is also likely to resolve itself pretty soon because even those people who were in forbearance for a while are now starting to exit forbearance and start to become eligible for new homes, putting their current homes on the market and expanding the supply of existing homes. The condition that led to the creation of shortage of lumber and other supplies for the new builders is kind of a big unknown because a lot of those uh, supplies are being produced overseas and we don't know how long the lockdowns are going to last overseas. But as the populations become more vaccinated, it is predicted that the problem with the supply chain for the new builders is probably going to resolve itself sometime in a 2021 slash 2022. In my estimate, 
the conditions for the bubble are going to start to dissipate toward the end of 2021 and at the beginning of 2022. What does that mean for you? My recommendation is to see if you can take advantage of the unprecedented historical conditions that are currently affecting the DFW home market. How could you do that? See if you're able to add to the supply. We have a tremendous unprecedented demand for homes, but unprecedentedly low supply. By adding currently to the supply on the current market, you can benefit from this high demand. If you're able to sell this year, I think that you would take the most opportunity that is available for the next few years. If you're able to sell at all, my recommendation is to sell before August, uh, i.e. before the kids had to go back to school, because at that time, probably the, um, the parents who are planning to move will mostly move already. So what steps could you currently take to take advantage of this situation? Number one, calculate your home price and see how much could you benefit from a sale of your home. If you need an information about not only how much your house is worth, please don't use the estimate for that. No, you need to calculate how much your house is worth right now, and then you need to calculate your seller net sheet. Seller net sheet will allow you to know how much money you will actually get after the sale of your home and after all the expenses, including your current mortgage, the uh, realtor fees and all the closing costs are accounted for. Then you will see if it's worth for you. I am going to put a link in the description below where you can order your seller net sheet and your estimate of the cost of your house. Number two, download my ebook. My ebook is coming out this month and it is called One, Two, Three, Tho One, Two, Three Sold. That book is going to tell you what would, be, what would be involved in selling your house as is or with you know, repairs and updates. Number three, decide if the sale is even feasible. And if yes, then decide how you're going to move to a new home. If you are thinking about selling your own home, but you just don't know where else to go given the condition of the market, let me know. I have very unique programs that can help you to overcome that objection. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you at the next video.